Welcome to today's tutorial, today we will look into the command layers. Layers are the primary method for organizing the objects in a drawing by function or purpose. Layers can reduce the visual complexity of a drawing and improve display performance by hiding information that you don't need to see at the moment. Because you draw objects on separate layers, it is easier for you to understand the drawing. You can quickly know an object type by checking the layer. AutoCAD drawings are just lines and arcs. Let's see how working with layers helps while using AutoCAD. Layers are independent drawing spaces that stack on top of each other to create an overall image. Organizing objects in layers is important when you work on big projects, architecture for example. You use layers to organize your project in such a way that every group of similar things is in their own layers. In the following image, I have created three layers, I have given each one a unique color for you to differentiate between one and the other. Now let us focus on how do layers help? Let's look into simple steps of creating layers in AutoCAD. To create a layer, click on the layer properties icon. The following will pop up and then click on the indicated icon to create a new layer. The following shows the layers I created for the exercise above. Each of your layers can be customized, such as having its own line type, line weight, transparency and plot style. Now, close the windows when you are done creating layers. Let us learn how to manipulate different layers. To put an object in a layer, make sure when you are creating that object, its layer is set to current. Let's understand this with an example. If we want to draw a circle in the layer named small circles, I will make sure I select it first before drawing. If you created an object in the wrong layer, don't worry, it is possible to put an already created element in a different layer. Simply select the object, select the layers you want that object in, and press ESC on your keyboard. There is a very useful command match properties, and the short key is MA. It allows us to copy all layer properties. Let us now understand the layer properties manager. You can add, delete, and rename layers, change their properties, set property overrides in layout viewports, and add layer descriptions. The various options we get in this tab are new layer. This creates a layer with a default name that you can immediately change. The new layer inherits the properties of the currently selected layer in the layer list. Then we have as new layer frozen VP in all viewports. It creates a layer and freezes it in all existing layout viewports. This button is accessible from the model tab or layout tabs. Next we have is delete layer. This deletes selected layers. Some layers cannot be deleted such as layers zero and F points. The current layer. Layers used in a block definition. Layers used in an external reference. Layers in a partially open drawing this is not applicable to AutoCAD LT. Please be careful about deleting layers if you are working on a drawing in a shared project or one based on a set of layer standards. Then we have the option as set current. It sets the selected layer as the current layer. New objects are automatically created on the current layer. We have three options. On. Freeze. And lock. Let us look at the option on. This turns the selected layers on and off. When a layer is on, it is visible and available for plotting. When a layer is off, it is invisible and not plotted, even if the setting in the plot column is turned on. Then we have freeze. This freezes the selected layers. You can freeze layers to improve performance and reduce regeneration time in complex drawings. Objects on frozen layers are not displayed, plotted, or regenerated. In drawings that support 3D modeling, frozen layers are not rendered. Not applicable to AutoCAD LT. The last option is lock. This locks and unlocks the selected layers. Objects on a locked layer cannot be modified. These commands are important and need to be mastered. You will have to play with their respective features to see how high or low their potential are. Feel free to comment your question in the comment section, they will be answered at the earliest.